guys, today we are going to make a candy corn wreath. It's going to be so cool. What I want you to do is get four deco meshes. I got all of mine at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using an orange one, a gold one, and then two of these that are candy corn colored. You're also going to need some of the pipe cleaners, a wreath form. And I'm also going to be using this orange glitter tool that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. Now what I do is I get one of, um, this is just a Pepsi cutout, and I cut it 10 inches all the way down. It doesn't matter how big it is across, but I use the 10 inches from top to bottom. And I simply get my mesh out. And lay my mesh on it, on the cardboard. Hold it down with my fingers and start wrapping the mesh. Okay, so what you do is you just flip your board over on top of your mesh. And you can pull your mesh across it like this, which it kind of gets sticky then. But the way I found to do it is to just keep flipping it across it, just like this. And just push your mesh out with your finger and just keep flipping. When you get to the end, there will be staples inside of your mesh and your roll. Just grab it and trim it right there at the staples. Then you're going to want to unfold your mesh. Now, after you've got that done, hold it firmly. Put your scissors right there on your cardboard and just cut straight across on the top. Flip it and cut straight across on the bottom. You are going to have a piece this size that is left over. But now all of your yellow mesh is already cut that quick, that simple. Go ahead and cut the rest of them, and um, I'll cut mine, and we'll be right back. I went ahead and cut my tool the same exact way, just wrapping it around and cut it while I was cutting all of my deco mesh. Now get your pipe cleaners and fold them in half. Run your scissors up in between the center, and just go ahead and cut those in half. We're going to need those for our wreath. Go ahead and get your wreath form out. Because we are going to make bundles one at a time and put them on our wreath. Now I'm going to start with the multicolored one. And you can see it already rolls up. I'm going to go ahead and roll it just a little bit tighter than what it wants to roll up. Just like so. Then I'm going to add an orange one. And just put them in an X just like this. Then I'm going to get my pipe cleaner and I'm going to put it in the center. And to make sure that I've got it in the center, I'm going to pull these up just like this. And I'm going to pull on my tails. And then I'm going to twist the bottom together. I just give it two good twists. And then on this bar right here, which is 
the second bar from the start, I'm going to go ahead and twist on the little bundle I just made. I'm just twisting it on in the back. Okay. So we have our very first bundle. Super cute. I know it doesn't look like much now, but it will. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a multicolored. And this time I'm going to add a yellow. I'm just going to get one of my pipe cleaners, put it in the center, pull it tight, and twist it together. And then twist it on the exact same bar that you did the first one. Push that over to the side. Try to twist it on pretty good. So it doesn't move around a whole lot. And so far, this is what you got. And like I said, until you get a lot of them on here, it's not going to look like a whole lot. Okay? But um, you can kind of scrunch them up together like that. But right now, there's only two. So we've got to get some more on here before it'll start looking really, really good. But what I'm going to do is something I've never done before with these wreaths. And I'm just going to try this out and see if it looks good. I'm going to get one piece of the tool and I'm going to scrunch it up, just bringing it forward. I'll do that again for you. So I put my thumbs on the bottom of the mesh and I'm just using my fingers to kind of pull it towards me and just scrunching it up and then hold it in the center. So it looks like that, looks like a bow. Then I'm gonna get one of my ties and put it in the center of it. And twist it together. And I'm gonna put this right here in the center of these two that I've already put on just to give it a little whimsical look. I'm going to flip it over so I can twist it on pretty tightly. And then squish them over together and I think that's going to be really, really cute. Alright, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple more of the candy corn and the orange one more candy corn and orange and then a candy corn and yellow and I'm gonna do my tool last just because I'm gonna have to count it out to make sure exactly how many pieces of tool that we have to go all the way around but go ahead and make you some bundles and let's get going okay so I got all my orange ones bundled and I'm going to go ahead and start placing them on my wreath. So I'm going to put my wreath upside down, or my wreath form upside down. And I had done an orange one, and the tool, and then the yellow one on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and move to the next one. And on the same bar, I'm just going to twist on one of the orange ones. And I'm going to do this all the way around until I run out of orange. So there's one on that bar, and then two on the same bar. And then I'm going to go to the next one and put two on this ring as well. There's one, twist it over. And two 
push it over. Now I went on the next section and I'm doing one and two. So I'm doing two on each section and you have six sections on these wreath forms. So the next section, there's one. And two, this is my last section. One, and two. Now that first section I did an orange, a tool, and a yellow, so I did not have an extra orange. So I'm going to go ahead and put my extra orange there to make it two of the orange ones. Then I'm going to count the ones I have left. I have one, two, three, four, five left. So one section is going to be short one. So that's the one we'll probably put our bow on. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot over and add a third one to each bar. This is a simple way of counting it instead of getting being miscounted. Um, got three on that one, so I'm gonna scoot this over and go ahead and put a third one here. And I like my wreaths um, really, really fluffy. I know some people do, some people don't, but I like mine super, super fluffy and pretty. So I've got one, two, make me a little hole here. Go ahead and twist that one in. I only have one left. And then we can move on to our yellows. All right, let's start bundling our yellows. This is what it looks like so far, which is really, really pretty. Can you guys see that? Really pretty. But I'm gonna go ahead and start on my yellows. And then we'll go and we'll put our yellows in between the orange ones. Okay, so I got all my yellow ones bundled. So I'm going to get my wreath back out again. And put it down. And you can look on the back and you can tell how many you have in each section. Now I want to find the section that has the tool in it. This was our very first section. And we did an orange, tool, yellow. So scoot your orange over, your next orange, and go ahead and put your yellow in. Because you're doing orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, okay? And just twist it on. Okay, in the next section you have an orange. So push your other two oranges back. Go ahead and put in your yellow. Then you have an orange. Squish it over. Put in your yellow. Then you have another orange, so squish it over and put in your yellow. Do this for every single orange that you have. Just squish it over and put your yellow in. Okay. 
and go all the way around the wreath doing this. Okay, guys, this is the last wreath that we did, which was the ghost wreath, which I absolutely adore. But I'm going to go ahead and take it down and put up our new wreath. How pretty is that? Isn't that gorgeous, guys? I love it. It is so pretty with the little candy corn colors. It just says Halloween to me. Not so much fall, but definitely Halloween to me because candy corn is so good but i'm going to go ahead and show you that you can just add the bow like right here at the bottom and this is the bow that we did in our tutorial you could add the bow at the bottom and that's how it would look or you could add it to the top let's show you how that looks You could add it to the side. You could even add it in the center if you wanted. How pretty is that? I think if I added it, it would probably be at the bottom. Because I just think that looks better. But that that's just me. But I'm going to leave the link to this bow in the description box. If you guys are interested in checking it out, just click on that link and... I'll leave that in the description box. I will also leave the link for the ghost wreath in the description box. Please remember to like and subscribe. We are a new channel and we're trying to get started here. I appreciate all the views, all the great comments that you guys leave. They're super, super sweet. And remember, if you guys have a channel too, please let me know in your comments below. And I'll be more than happy to check out some videos that you guys do. I'm going to go ahead and go and start the next DIY. Thanks so much for watching.